Hello everyone, Kill423 here from EpicCouncil.com and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on RGH 2.0 for the Xbox 360 Fat Council. Uh, what we have here is a Cool Runner Rev C. It's uh, the latest version at the time of this upload. Uh, and the first thing we're going to want to do is prep it. Now, there's going to be a couple of resistors that you got to take off first and foremost. As you can see, I got the the programming ports on this side right here. And here's where you solder all the wires, all right? So you're going to want to look at it the same way. Right here we have JP. And this resistor is labeled 00. zero. We want to take this resistor off. If you look over here, we have this point here is labeled 2 and 3. We also want to take this resistor off. The resistor has a identification code of 0 as well. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to turn this thing around so I can work on it. So it might mess you all up there. But there's one right next to the power point labeled JP. I'm going to throw a little bit of flux on there. Keep all this stuff cool while I remove this resistor. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is my preferred tip for re uh, removing these resistors. It's a, a, a flat a flat tip. I guess almost a spatula style tip, but not quite. Now what I like to do for removing these, turn it on you here again, just throw a little flux on it, and then just take your tip here, being flat and all, and just kind of touch both sides just like so. I may have just screwed up here and accidentally soldered it to this other switch, but yeah, I did. Abracadabra be. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna remove it from here. <laughs> Desolder it again. Come on off of there, you little bugger. All right. Well, all in all, be careful when doing that. All right. Make sure you get the uh, make sure you get the thing off your tip. Now, now we'll move over to the other one, right here, right next, in between F and E. And I'll throw a little si or flex on there as well. Just like that, you can kind of just scrape it right up off of it. No biggie. Now we got those two points opened up. We're going to be using those two points later on in a roundabout way. Uh, and I'll explain how they work later. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and just clean up some of this, this flex paste here. Don't like letting it sit on the board too long. Once it gets hard and crusty, it gets to be kind of, kind of hard to clean off. Alright people, now that we got the uh, cool runner prepped here, I'm going to set that aside. And we're going to get the, uh, the low loss shielded cable ready to go too. Uh, for this, we're going to want the low loss. It's provided with the cool runner rev C. Some uh, shrink tubing. And a wire stripper. So what I'm going to do here is just take a side of this. Like so. I'm 
My, uh, my wire strippers are pretty old and worn out. It takes a little bit more finesse. Alright, screw it. Use a razor blade. Okay, so, see how I stripped the end of it off there, I just want to take and kind of pull some of this outside wiring away. I don't want to try and steal credit for this, uh, I'm using a WNY console his guide off of Executor based this idea off of here. I'm just going to kind of twist it like that. Now for the tip of this I'm just going to expose the very tip. Tin foil layer, followed by a plastic layer underneath. You know what? I'm gonna just get rid of this tin foil all together here. like so. Now we want to extend this wire. Right. Where'd the wire go? Un momento. All right. Took a little digging but I found it. So now, what we're going to do here, this part coming out here is the grounding side. So we're going to extend this layer out so we can ground it. just because it was the first one I found. Get that soldered together there. Excuse me. 
and just fold it over just like that. Uh, this here is some uh, heat shrink. Huh. Might help if I cut it off the right length first. I'm afraid I may very well be using the wrong size. <sighs> Get these assorted packets of the shrink shrink tubing at Radio Shack. I'm not going to make you watch me struggle with this. Alright, I tell you what, I'm going to just go with the oversized one. And now, I'm going to show you what a heat gun is used for. Quite simply, it's used for stuff like this. Heat shrink. So your cool runner is now prepped and ready to go. I see you have to do the other side. Well, you don't have to expose all the the wire and whatnot. 